Hi, I'm Jan Kleinschmidt for JLOR, and I'm here to talk about the Penn State Shaker Box. We use the Penn State Shaker Box to make sure that we're getting the right level of effective fiber in the TMR, not too, many coarse, too much coarse material or too much fine material. It's important that when you take your sample of TMR, that you take a fresh sample that's come right out of the TMR mixer. You should walk down both bunks and make sure that you get samples at the beginning of feed out, the middle part of feed out, and the end of feed out. I will take the sample and if it's too wet, I will often dry it out overnight just so that it shakes out better. Place the sample in the top of the shaker box. Make sure that you get eight good strong shakes for each side of the box. From there, we're going to take the material out of each box and weigh it on a digital scale. Make sure that you tear the scale before you weigh the material. What I do then is simply add up the quantities in each box to get a final figure. Then, for example, for the top box, if it's 50 grams and the total quantity is 200, I'll take 50, divide it by 200, multiply it by 100 to give me a percent. What we're looking for is 2 to 8% in the top box, 30 to 50% in the second box, 30 to 50% in the third box, and on the bottom pan, we're looking for less than 20%. It's important that we get our TMRs designed properly by the nutritionist, but also mixed properly by the producer. It's important because nutrition matters.